This is David from Dash Off-Road and yep, we're doing another dash file. This is Owen's Beast Jest here. Check this thing out. I'm so impressed with this car. We're going to go and have a chat to Owen, see what he's done to his car and get him to give us a bit of a tour. Let's get into it. So I'm here with Owen. Uh, you might have seen his car a couple of weeks ago uh, at Mount Cole. What an awesome looking vehicle. Uh, I must say, when I saw this car for the first time, I was impressed. And when I had a closer look at it, it's probably the best presented Y62, or most thought out one that I've ever seen. So we're gonna take you through uh, this car. Owen's gonna show you around and uh, show you why it looks so good. We'll start with the drawers, just a drift drawer kit on the Teflon sliders, so just, yeah, there's now runners, it's pretty light. No worries. Uh, just that up as a shot, near the table. Nice. The table comes right out, so you can take it out and put the legs down and set it up as a can table, which is a good idea. Um, just got little pockets on the side. I'm going to put my inflation kit in there and uh, just bits and pieces, winch winch controller, uh, just yeah, bits and pieces. On the right, other side, just another set of drawers here. Just a deeper, not as, just deeper than that because you've got your table here, so this is a little, little bit deeper, which is pretty good. And they pop right out. You can feel they're very light, so which is good. What's, uh, what's this little thing down the bottom left-hand corner here? This one here? Yeah. That's where you put your compressor hose into, is your compressor which also operates the airbags, so you can pump up. Pump up your bags and then you let them down. That is so cool. Oh yeah, there's the airbag. Long range tank as well, I see. Long range tank, yep. That's the LRA tank. And you've got just a couple of USB points here. So you know we're making a video here. <laughs> um, a couple more lights up here. Just, I'll install them myself because since touch lights. Which has seen seen a good light on both sides. I see. Both sides, yeah. Another one here. I've seen these in action camping. They're very cool. Yeah, yeah so I put them on those panels that you can just pop, pop off if you need to adjust them here. which is on a slide, easy slide. So it just pops down. I've so got to get myself one of them. That's height adjustable too, you can be able to stop. So it's pretty pretty safe. It's not going to pop up and smack you on the face. Why a Y62? Why did you buy a Y62? I, um, I had a 4.8. Patrol, petrol patrol before the cruises, and I said never again. Yeah. But um, I just got sick of the diesels, just the reliability was an issue. Then from getting damaged, <laughs> and it's just, it was a headache. And I needed a new car, and I didn't want to get into 200 because I've had drums with it. Lots of people, a lot of mates who have them have had drums with it. Yeah. So I just, it wasn't for me. And I came across the Y62 page, Facebook, and I said, oh yeah. I'll have a quick look and yeah, I've just started listening to them and seen ones with 3 and them, yeah, yeah. 35s and they looked awesome and still the fuel consumption was always going to be an issue so until I found out they weren't too bad and then from, I spoke to guys who have them and, and blah 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 and I said oh yeah, no worries. So I went for a good long driving one yeah. and I was, I was amazed. And, uh, and they just picked your colour. Oh well, jeez, yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah, have you done all the modifications you want to do, or are there more, still more that you want to do? Yeah, there's always more you want to do, but... Um, all right, so if we gave you one cross lotto tomorrow, what would you be talking on? Sure. <laughs> straight, straight away. Go to the Supercharger, or else I might wait for the twin turbos, and you know, we'll see how we go. Yeah. Um, that and that's basically it, I think. I think everything else seems to... Yeah, What's your favourite modification that you've done? That's a 
this channel. <laughs> the favourite one. Um, probably the rear. Yeah? Yeah. It is a it's very well set up yeah. back end. Yeah. I like it on the exhaust. The exhaust helps. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds awesome. <laughs> but um, no, definitely the just the rear. Um, anything done under the bonnet? Uh, full headers, exhausts, you need to. Alright, we'll have to have yeah. a look at that. Yeah. And did you notice a difference? Did you drive it before and after uni chip? Like, did you have that done straight yeah, away? Yeah, I found when I put the 35s on it. The original 35s, which the BFGs, they're quite a small 35. I did a difference in, in power, so I with that. But then when I put the Nittas on it, which are a true 35, I found that it was, yeah, it was perfect. Just bogged down a bit. Yeah. Especially telling the cap car then. The chip sort of overcome that? It just brought it back to what it's like. That's very interesting. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to drive a bit of back. I didn't care about big power figures or anything like that. Yeah. Because we kind of tuned it for drivability. Yeah. That's very interesting. Yeah. So the if you've been looking at this car and want to know what's on it, I'm going to do my best and Owen, you can correct me. So we've got uh, ARB front bull bar. Oh, no, start of all, what year is it? It's 2013? 17. 17? Yeah. Oh, it's a younger than I thought. So it's TI. <laughs> it's, only, it's only a year old. A year old TI, Series 3. Series 3, yeah. Series 3. Um, it's carbon winch on the front, mm -hmm. ARB bull bar. Mm -hmm. I saw, yeah, the, the chip, uni chip. Uni chip. Uh, headers, who, who are your headers through? Um, pacemaker. Pacemaker headers. Full pacemaker exhaust. Do you, do you get any error codes coming up on the dash? No. Have you got a cheat tube or something like that? No, the in Unichip tunes all that. Ah, the Unichip yeah. takes away. Yeah. Very nice to know. Uh, as we move our way through the car then, so next there is the Southern Sliders. Yep. Um, 18 inch rim still. What sort of rims are they? Alloy. Bottom. Yeah. Yep. Uh, the 35 inch Nitos roof rack. Um, Ally. Yeah, the tradesman rack. Yeah, flat rack. Uh, have you got some? Uh, steady light rack. Um, Kmart rear bar and uh, the Drifter RSN. Yep. What a mean looking rig. Thank you for showing us everyone. No worries. And, uh, uh, thank you for watching Dash Files. If you like this sort of stuff, um, hit that like button down the bottom there. If you really like it, hit the subscribe. And of course, uh, if you want to support me doing more often, go check out my Patreon page. So I'll put the link in the comments below. And I'll see you next time. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. <laughs>